Hey, what's going on, everybody? Todd G, Pixel Labs, NFTs here. Gonna make a quick video today on how to set up a testnet account uh, on the Wax blockchain and then link that testnet account to the Atomic Hub testnet and to the Nefty Box testnet. So, as you guys know, um, whenever you set something up on the blockchain, it's permanent. So, it's important that you practice using the test net um, just to make sure you don't screw anything up. Okay, so the first step is we're going to navigate to this address here. Uh, this will be in the description. And then we're going to make a test net account name. Um, I'm going to call this Poly Test 33. We're going to hit create. Okay, so here's all our information here that we need. Now we're going to copy our private key. Copy. Okay. Then we're going to pull up our Anchor Wallet. So you guys have to download the Anchor Wallet and um, set it up for the Wax blockchain. So I assume you guys already have that set up. And we're going to go here. I'm doing this on the fly. I'm going to have to. Uh, I'm not exactly sure where everything is, so just bear with me. So we got to set up the test net on here. Um, so we're going to manage blockchains. This is the main net. Add, remove. Here it is down here. The Wax test net. Okay. Enable two blockchains. All right, there we go. Okay, so we clicked it over, so now we're on the test net. Okay, we're going to import an existing account. We're going to import a private key. And I'm going to paste that private key that we just got from uh, the screen up there. Okay, it looks good. We're going to import this account. We're going to type in our anchor password that you use when you set up your anchor wallet. And boom, there we go. Polytest33 is in there. I'm just going to go back on the browser now. Or actually, I'll turn off this. Okay, so my my uh, wallet's open. My anchor wallet's open in the background. We're going to hit the back here. I'm going to just copy this so I don't forget. Polytest33. And we're going to go down to this. We're going to get some fake wax tokens, some testnet wax tokens. Boom, succeeded. All right. So if we open up our anchor wallet, there it is, 500. And I think we can do this multiple times. Let me Let me refresh. Uh, did that work? Yeah, a thousand. And I think you can get a thousand a day. Let's see. Yeah. You have reached the max for 24 hours. Okay, so we have a thousand testnet wax. That's perfect. All right, I'm going to turn off my anchor wallet for now so you guys can see the full screen. Now we're going to go to Atomic Hub, the wax test.atomic hub. And we're going to log in. And we're going to log in with the anchor wallet. And it's going to launch Anchor. Okay. You guys can't see this, but it's asking me to sign this transaction here. So I'm going to just do that real quick. Boom. Okay. So the Polytest33 account that we just made is now linked up to the Atomic Hub testnet. Okay. Perfect. So now we're going to have to create a collection. If you guys don't know how to create a collection, this is how you do it. You go to NFT creator, create a new collection, collection name, 12 characters, um, poly test. Does it have to be exactly 12? I don't know. Yes. Poly test 33. Perfect. We'll just call it display name, poly test 33. And let me find a picture on the computer here. Perfect. Unnote error while uploading the image. All right. Um, I did not catch all that error message. Here, I'll change it to this. Uh, create collection. So I sign this in my anchor wallet. Um, signatures required. Cancel. I'm not sure what happened there. Let me try to try this one more time. There we go. Yeah, something was screwed up. I'm not sure what it was, but second time's the charm. 
Okay. So now we have a collection on the wax test net called polytest 33. Um, we're going to create a new schema. We'll call this uh, first schema test, first schema T. How about that? That's fine. Doesn't matter. I always like to add a description uh, as a text. So we'll create the schema. We're going to sign that. Perfect. So if we go back, now we should have one schema in our test collection. First schema. Okay, we'll click on that and we can create a template. So we'll put um, max supply 10. And we'll put poly is king text. Your text goes here. Max supply 10. All right, so I'm creating the template. That's how you create a template. Sorry, guys, if I'm going too fast, I just kind of click buttons around here. Uh, I've done this quite a few times on the main net, so I wish I had learned about the test net earlier and I wouldn't have screwed up so many of our templates and schemas. But anyway, here we are. Okay, so it has no assets. I'll teach you how to mint one real quick. We just select it from here. We can mint one. Might have to add some test RAM. Let's see. Nope, I don't. So now if we go back, we should have one asset in here. All right, so that's basically a quick rundown on how you link the testnet to your Atomic Hub and create a testnet collection. So from in here, you can, um, you know, nothing has to be whitelisted. You can mess around with uh, adding new schemas, adding new templates, all that stuff. And now to set up drops, um, I use Nefty Blocks. Nefty Blocks is probably the best tool out there at least at the moment. And now we're on the test.neftyblocks.com website. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna click log in to our anchor wallet. Uh, this should be the poly 30, polytest33 account. Boom, there it is, okay. And then if we go to manage collections, it should find our collection from the fake Atomic Hub, from not fake, the test, the test net Atomic Hub right there. Uh, I guess it's just loading the image, but boom, there it is. So from here, we can set up all sorts of stuff, which I will probably show you on uh, another video instead of rambling on. But if you want to make a drop, you can, um, you go in here. Uh, we have to add an empty blocks D as an authorized account. So they make that easy. You can just do it with a click of a button. Now it's uh, added. Yeah. And you can create a drop from here, but I will show you how to do this all in another video because uh, otherwise this one would go too long. So yeah, just to reiterate real quick, step one is you go to um, waxsweden.org, create a testnet account, fill this out. You get your private key, you throw it into your anchor wallet on the wax testnet, and then you make a, um, you go to the wax testnet for Atomic Hub and you make a collection and you throw a couple templates and schemas together upload some stuff. And then once that's all created in Atomic Hub, you can just go over to Nefty, the Nefty testnet, log in and um, log in with your anchor wallet there, go to manage collections and boom, it'll be in there. And you can start messing with all the cool Nefty tools like drops and blends and super blends and pre-minted packs and mint on demand packs. They really have a lot of cool stuff. Um, ever since we found Nefty blocks, we haven't looked back and I love everything they're doing and watch out Atomic because Nefty is coming and uh, when their market launches fully, it's going to be game over for you guys. Uh, well, at least that's just my opinion. So shout out to Nefty, a uh, great team over there, uh, not affiliated with them in any way other than I just happen to use their products and love them. All right, guys. Uh, thanks for watching. I'll uh, be posting more videos on how to use some of these Nefty tools soon. Bye.